Hello and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach and I'm going to actually add in the fetch character instruction. We just cleaned up the string mode instruction, took it out of the executor where it should never really have been and just handled within a um, within a handler. Okay, so now everything I think is hunky-dory. Okay, so next is the fetch character instruction. This, if we hit the fetch character instruction, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> um, of the next encounter itself. So we say context move, context next, okay? And then we say context values push context current value, okay? And that's it, because then the executor will do the move in the next. This literally handles everything that we should, I think. Skipping over the character, yes. OK. So to test this, this is interesting because we don't actually have explicit tests. We've been handling all the, um, like the in-string mode here and we really shouldn't have to do that. What we should be doing is like this. Yeah. So what we want here is string instruction handler tests. Okay, now we're gonna say public static class test. And unit, thank you, public static. Okay, now what do we do here? I'm basically saying I'd handle in string mode. Okay, whatever, you go away. Okay, so we need to say generic. So that doesn't sell a new point. Except we want to be a little, yeah, a little cleaner. Okay. So string instruction handler. Am I calling it handlers? <laughs> yes. Why? Oh my god. String mode instruction. Okay, so then we need another one. And again, we're going X. So we want to have, let's say a three. We push an H. Okay. And then at four, we push an I. And then at seven, we push another one. Okay, so now we say instruction handler tests run new string instruction handler cells context. So what is this? This is the before, and then that's the after. The before, we don't have to do anything. So this is okay to be null, right? Right. Okay. The context values count is equal to. What we should see here is one, two, three, four, five, six. And you actually on a stack be no, you won't let you, and that's fine. Um, yes, my wife is braving the COVID. <laughs> Hate to say it that way, but she's going grocery shopping. So, okay, so we 
we should see... Huh, how do I want to do this? Well, let's do this first. Okay. Because this is going to fail because it's not going to have six. It's going to have four, I bet. And the reason it's going to have four... Yep, is because we're not putting... What we really have here is, if you think about it, is zero. So this is zero, zero, one, zero, two, zero. Three zero is that, four zero is that, five, six, seven. That's actually what we have there, okay? So we want all that space, but what we're getting is just one. It's not, we're not, this is where the handler of the strain instruction handler, um, white space is not correct. What we can see here is int. Okay. And then we're going to take this away. Else that. Okay. Now, if you look, oh, okay, this does solve it. Duh. I was being stupid. It really didn't matter which way you did it. I don't think. So if your location X is equal to your location Y, that means you're on the same line. Then it just determines the difference between the two because you might be going in one direction or the other, and that's how much white space you should um, have. Otherwise, if the x was the same, you're going up and down, and so it just that's how much of it. Ah, okay. So let's do this. Choose local. White's white space count. There we go. So now what we do is we say for r i is equal to zero, i is less than white space count, i plus plus, plus plus, come on, you can do the plus plus, Jason. Push. Boom. That's all we needed to do. Okay. So now if we come to our test here, this should at least give six now, I believe. Still fails. Nine. Ooh. I think we're going too much. Yeah. Um, I believe we need to, like, not include where we currently are. I th think that's what I'm getting at. Yep, and now I really quick want to put a test in here for um, no white space. No white space. So that's just that. That's just that. So we're literally doing a one, two, three. This should only have two. And we're correct. Okay, so now... The thing that I need to do is say for var i is equal to zero i less than because we have seven values. I plus plus. Um, var character is equal to Because the print is convert to char, yeah. Convert to char. Um, yeah, you don't know what that is. That's fine. Convert to char. Context values pop. I really wish the new switch pattern matching did not require you to return a value. <laughs> uh, switch I. Like, I don't know why I've always been like an idiot. Yes, I know. I'm being a moron, okay? Q. 
case one. Assert that character is equal to a literal space name of or we just print out I, right? Break. Well, character is a char. Yeah, a search is equal to. Okay, what the heck? It test two item for quality. Cannot convert from Did you ever just see code and go, what in the Sam assert that? Um Do you ever just feel like broken? <laughs> Why would that suddenly mess with everything? don't understand. That wouldn't matter. What? That's that. For var i equals zero, i less than seven, i plus plus. We get a character. We switch on i. Case one. I is one. Yes. So why won't you? I'm feeling stupid. <laughs> if I is equal to, well, zero, fine. Why? Why is that being such a problem? Assert that. Is, is, equal to, equal to. Is it because of this that's like getting confused? Oh, for God's sake. What? <sighs> Shut up. I thought I turned that off in the editor config. What are these again? CA1035. Or, no. CA1305. Ah. Uh, Yes, 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 because I go so, so God. Boom. Go away. I really, really like analyzers and all that stuff, but sometimes I'm just like with this stuff, don't want to put a format provider in. I really don't. Maybe I should. You know what? I just talked myself. <laughs> Fine. I will put in culture info.
current culture. So maybe somebody's going to run it somewhere that I don't know about. Okay. But now we can go back to figuring out how to write a switch statement. So, you know, really, it, if i is equal to zero, we'll do this. Because I think this is... Okay. If i is equal to zero or i is equal to one, it's the same thing, right? Well, right, because we're popping off the stack. So this is zero, five, six. Uh, because we do. Th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There should be seven. That's wrong. So if I is greater than or equal to zero and I is less than or equal to two, Or i is greater than or equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and i is less than or equal to 7. Else, if i is equal to 3, the character should be h, else or it should be I. God, that was a lot of work. <laughs> Else. Boom. Um, now, this should fail because we're not getting the uh, right count is what I expected. Yeah, we get overflow because we... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I did this one. This is zero. This is zero. One, two, three. This should be four. This should be five, six, seven, eight. So four, five. Yeah, I was doing that wrong. Still fails. Oh. Oh, I'm doing. Yeah, I popped it and now I gotta go the other way. <laughs> okay. That's alright. That's alright. So we're popping. So now we're going zero one two so zero one two three four five six. Zero, one, two, and the three is just, you, you look out. <laughs> what a, God. Oh yeah, I, we will get it right. We'll get it right. There, okay. Now let's do this. Oh, God. What? Jesus. Hello? Did I? Oh my God, I thought I just broke Visual Studio. <laughs> like, we're not moving. Holy, what in the buckets? What are you doing? <sighs> we're still recording. <laughs> Okay. It no longer knows the period. It doesn't know how to do refactorings. Did I break it that badly? Oh my god. String instruction handler tests. What I want to say is usual period. 
You won't. Oh my god. Wow, it broke that badly. That it doesn't know how to do an introduce local. And it won't even do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Just take it. Um, count. Is equal to seven. Yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh. Okay, so. I'm going to do the same thing here. Except, because you don't know how to do this now, so we pop if i is equal to zero, we expect it to be that, x i is equal to one, we expect it to be that. Yay, all is good. Yay. Type in a period. Um, behold, I am Bifange. Yay. Yay. And Yay. We are good. We are good. So that actually, well, sort of. <laughs> we still get one thing to test, which is um, if I hit a fetch character instruction. Okay. Handle fetch character instruction. Fetch character instruction. So, fetch character instruction, we're going to push a queue, and that's it. Um, we could put here a comma. I mean, it doesn't really matter, it just... Like, we're going to do a tick, a Q, and then that, okay? Do I care about what happens beforehand? No, I do not. I don't think I do. Um, what I do care about is that the amount on the stack is 1, okay? We're going to pop that, and we're going to say that it is equal to a Q name of character. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all this. We also want to assert, assert that context current value is equal is equal to the value is a character right yeah because we should have pushed a q name of that what fails all passes all passes. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this is 22 added fetch instruction. Push. This is a lot of work to what feels like I only did two things, which is actually true. <laughs> okay, we don't need that to do goes away, though. We, no, no, I don't need to save that. Um, Okay, we, we did that, we're going to do that, we're going to merge that, push, 
and 22, delete, yes, delete, come over here, do this and that, and we are closed. Close for business. We're down to 15. Yep, cool. Cool beans. All right. I would do another one, um, but what time is it? It is 3.44. I have time to do another one. Um, so um, we'll see if I can get the store in there. Maybe the system retrieval, jump over and forward. We'll, we'll, I will limit myself to one more, um, but that, that's what I'm going to do. So thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.